Hello and welcome to Charm Health, your medical records management and practice management application on the cloud. In this video, we'll be going over questionnaires, their types, how to use them, how to make them, and their relationship to templates, encounters, and the patient charts. Later, we'll discuss documents, how they differ from questionnaires, where they overlap, how they're shared with the patient, and how questionnaires are reconciled once the patient completes them. Let's get started. In the Charm Health EHR, any paperwork or forms that patients need to electronically fill out or review and submit to the practice should be created as a questionnaire. This includes pre-registration screening forms, consent forms, intake or pre-appointment forms, and after-appointment surveys. The questionnaire type you select when creating your forms will determine how it is sent, when the patient receives it, and what kind of information can be collected. We'll discuss questionnaire types later. The key advantage of questionnaires is that they streamline your workflow for an appointment. A properly formatted questionnaire allows a patient to enter their own demographic and encounter information without ever needing to print, scan, or physically copy anything. When creating a questionnaire, there are two kinds of questionnaire items you can add, components and widgets. Components are basic questionnaire items. Answers to these questions cannot be reconciled, so components are best suited for pre-screening forms, consent forms, and feedback forms. Let's create a basic consent form as an example of how you can use components. Navigate to settings, then questionnaires, then practice questionnaires. Click the plus questionnaire button to create a new questionnaire. Enter a name for your form, select consent form as the questionnaire type, and click the add items button to add the components you need. In this example, we're going to use label components for both the headings of the document as well as the body of the text. To differentiate the heading from the rest of the form, you can use the formatting options. If you already have a consent form, you can copy and paste the bulk of the document. If you would like the patient to acknowledge that they've read the document, you can use the question with options component. Then you can add the signature and date components. Any component that requires patient input can be made mandatory. Once done, click the Add button to add the components to the form and then click the Save button to finish. The other more advanced questionnaire items are called widgets. Widgets allow the patient's answers to be reconciled or automatically copied into the encounter or the patient's chart. Widgets are only available on general questionnaires and can be further divided into two types. These first six are chart widgets. They collect general demographic information from the patient and are reconciled to the patient's profile. As these widgets correspond directly to predefined areas of the patient's chart, the questions contained in the widget cannot be modified. These bottom seven widgets are chart note or encounter widgets. They collect information specific to an appointment and are reconciled to an encounter. Encounter widgets are fully customizable. However, unlike components where questions are configured while making the questionnaire, questions intended for encounter widgets must be set up beforehand on one or more templates. Let's review the kind of templates that can be used in questionnaires. Go to Settings, Templates, Practice Templates. When creating a template for a questionnaire, you can either use templates for individual sections of the encounter that correspond to the available widgets or use a SOAP template, which encompasses multiple sections at once. To add a question to a template, simply drag the component you want from the list on the left into the template, then type or paste your question. Questions added here can also be made mandatory. Click the Save button once you have set up your questions to your needs. It's important to note that templates in the My Template section are only available to you, while templates in Practice Templates are available to everyone at your practice. When a new template is created, 
and is saved to My Templates by default. However, only templates and practice templates can be used in questionnaires. So in order to use a template with a questionnaire, it must be shared to practice templates. To do this, click the three dots next to the template, then click on Share and select to practice to copy your templates to practice templates. When selecting a template to be used with a widget, only templates that are relevant to the widget will be available. For instance, if you select a symptoms widget, only symptoms templates or SOAP templates that include a symptoms section will be available. When selecting a SOAP template in a widget, only the questions in the section of the template relevant to that widget will appear on the questionnaire. For example, if you select a SOAP template in a History of Present Illness widget, only the questions from the History of Present Illness section of the SOAP template will appear on the questionnaire. You may select the same SOAP template for multiple widgets. For your convenience, Charm Health offers a library of pre-made questionnaires, documents, and templates in their respective sections of the settings page called the Charm Health Library. These items were created and shared primarily by other Charm Health users and are at your disposal to import and use as you wish. Once you find something that suits your needs, all you have to do is click the menu button and select import to copy it to your practice. Please keep in mind though that the majority of the items in the Charm Health library were not created by Charm Health, so the quality and or applicability to your practice may vary. However, after importing something to your practice, you may alter it as you see fit. For psychiatric practices, we offer a set of specially configured standard questionnaires with auto scoring, such as the PHQ-9 and GAD-7. To find these questionnaires, simply check the box marked Show Questionnaires with Auto Scoring at the top of the Questionnaires Charm Health Library. Thank you for watching this video. For any other questions, please reach out to us at support at charmhealth.com. Follow us on our social media for the latest updates.